Hello, welcome to this introduction to the AIML tutorial series. So, in this episode I'm going to cover what AIML is, what it's used for, and um, a little bit on why it's so popular. So, AIML stands for Artificial Intelligence Modeling Language. Um, it's based on XML, if you've heard of that. If not, don't worry. Uh, we will. We don't particularly need to know it for this tutorial series. And what it does specifically is it's designed for use in creating chatbots. And a chatbot is um, basically it's it's a robot that you can interact with, and it will give or try and give responses that sound human. So it tries to simulate human conversation. And chatbots are used in not just hob hobby projects, but also uh, commercial projects. So if you're running an online store, and you can, you can use it to cut down on customer service staff by uh, basically replacing them with a chatbot, if you can make one which is advanced enough. So, AIML is made up of these basic building blocks. You've got wildcards for AI random. You can see them all on the screen. And that's what we're going to cover in this tutorial series. We probably won't be making a full chatbot because that takes a lot of work. Um, and to manage expectations, um, it takes a long time and a lot of data to build a chatbot which can do something like pass the Turing test, um, which means that it will um, trick someone into believing that it, it's human. So what a lot of people will do is just make a chatbot for a specific purpose, like the um, shopping website we talked about just a minute ago. And yeah, so here's an example of what it will look like. Um, this is one I made earlier for a university project. As you can see on the right we have the chatbot itself and on the left we have some of the code I wrote for it. And this one just deals with locations of cities and their population. Um, so yeah. AIML is pretty easy. It's easy to learn, it's easy to execute. The hard part is getting all the data to make it. So, that's all you really know, need to know for that part of the tutorial. Uh, now we're gonna, I'm gonna take you to the website that you're gonna use to create this chatbot. So. So this is PandoraBots.com. Uh, this is the website we're going to be using throughout this tutorial to help us develop our chatbot. Uh, it's a great tool, and um, yeah, so first you'll need to sign up. Uh, it's all relatively easy, you know, typical, just create an account, and um, then it should take you to this screen. So when you first sign up you will get this dialog come up and this is where you create your first chatbot if it doesn't come up uh, just go over to the left click on this plus icon next to my bots and yeah it will come up so in this tutorial in the name we're gonna call it tutorial and you can call it whatever you want um, and this is obviously the name that your chatbots gonna be called so you know uh, choose wisely and the bottom two these two things uh, language and content uh, don't matter just leave those as they are unless you want to change the language for whatever reason and then hit create bot then there you are um, your bots been created click on edit code editor and then if you go into the AIML folder UDC and this is where you'll be typing all of the code for making the chatbot and just to test that it works come over to this purple icon here with the speech bubble click on it and just type in anything random and it should come up with 
I don't have an answer for that. And um you don't need you don't need this bit on line eight. Okay. So in the next tutorial we will get started on actually making a chatbot and making it give us some responses. And um by the end of that tutorial you should know what most of this means. Okay, thanks very much for watching.